You're ready? Yes. First of all, uh, thanks for having your time. You're it's a real pleasure for me to interview with you. Thank you so much. Right now, I'm, I'm waiting for our next album to be published very soon, end of February, uh, hopefully. This is, at some point, this is the, my, my most important album ever because uh, we have done a lot of job uh, artistically and financially based on that. Uh, I want to ask a question like uh, similitude and metaphor of Iran's Bob Dylan has become mm. more common idea. Uh, some people might be annoyed and might be upset about that. Mm. Uh, what do you think about this? Does it bother you or what do you think? Uh, this answer till two, three years ago was different. My answer was not bothering me. Definitely, I'm, I'm honored to be uh, like uh, that my name was beside that big maestro. But I was thinking of maybe this is wrong. Musically, is wrong because uh, my music is based on an idea of, of roots of, of folk music and also the idea of mixturing. But uh, Bob Dylan, to me, always was was a poet. Uh, what would you do if you win Nobel Prize, Nobel Peace Prize? I'm not even in the field of thinking of any prize because uh, that's funny. I've never uh, never been uh, winning any kind of prize in music in my entire life. I've I've told this several times. Istanbul is like my second home. Really, I just I feel that I feel great about this. My first home is New York, not Tehran. <laughs> no, really, because I have no, no like enough good feeling about uh, Iran anymore. How does the situation of the world right now affect you as an artist? More than sad. Maybe I have I have told this before. Sometimes I really think I'm dreaming. It's not. It's not. Maybe you're not. Like if you are not living in a true story, it's like it's like a dream. I, I'm not gonna talk like a old-fashioned leftist to just be, be looking for the justice for all something like that. Like social media, all of these things. I think that just surface. From this dialogue, there is no tears and anti tears and santas just fighting, being enemies of each other, just time wasting, it's not useful at all. Uh, Tehran has changed a lot nowadays. I would prefer to live outside of Iran. I was thinking that my coming back to Iran, the main problem would be politically like my, my, my human rights problem the court to the jail and I'm, I'm gonna be in trouble but recently in the last two years I'm thinking the easiest problem is that working with the people that they own the art now that's like a nightmare for me I definitely won't, won't choose that I'm not gonna live in Iran there is no independent art anymore in Iran because the money of that art comes from the money laundry of revolutionary regard. That's it.